hello and welcome to the show. Contrary to popular belief, I don't actually hate the S14 Sylvia. To be honest, it's a car that I don't particularly care about. I find it funny to generally make fun of the car, seeing as so many people clamoured to have it on Forza and Games when there are many more interesting cars out there that I would rather see. But I don't actually hate the car, and I haven't really done much other than build silly ones. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how it is going to fare when I try and turn it into a rally car. Maybe, maybe it'll be surprisingly fast. I do not know. Now, the I'm using the S14 that came from the latest DLC rather than the sort of unicorn one for this. We are going to put on the wide body kit on the car. It kind of gives it a muscle car front end this one um yeah we're going to put the uh, liberty bunny kit on the car uh, not just for, for looks it does actually give us the ability to have wider tires hopefully will give us some more rear end stability which will be nice it's very very important thing in this series we are also of course going to make the car all-wheel drive engine wise we're going to a lot of engine choices turbo rally uh, i6 uh, that's a good engine i uh, can get plenty of power out of it 2.6 liter twin turbo v8 and the quad rotor can all go in this car so a lot of options regarding engines we're going to see how we're doing pi before we go over to that we're going to of course put it on the off-road compound tire that is and yeah 295s on the front and 325s on the rear they're very very big tires it's going to give us a lot of rear end stability and having that bigger a front tire is actually going to give us a lot of turn in as well so that is good. That, that is very good to have on this car. We are also, of course, going to have the Forza Aero rear wing. There it is. To give us as much downforce as possible. I'm not sure if the splitter that comes with this kit is uh, how much downforce that adds. We're going to go. I think having the much bigger tyres might outweigh the front aero. So that, that is the choice that I'm going to make with this car. We are also going to, of course, have some nice race brakes. We're going to have the rally suspension, race anti-roll bars, etc. And, of course, the roll cage. Now, weight reduction is something I've been playing around with a little bit more with these cars. We kind of want it down to about two... Ooh, it's a bit awkward. I kind of want to get the cars down to about 2,700, 2,800 pounds-ish, and then now I'm okay with that. This is either... We either go... 2,900 or 2,006. I think we'll go 2,900 on the car. And then it is to the engine. Now, let's go back to have a look at the possible it's turbo. Okay, turbo rally won't get to the top of S1 class. Good engine, but not going to get to the top of S1 class. I6, all of these other ones here will, and sadly, we're not going to be getting the quad rotor <laughs> in it. Oh, no, no crazy. Uh, noisy rotary. The standard engine might do it. I don't actually know how much power you get out of the standard engine in this car, so we'll go have a kind of throw parts on it and see what we're looking at. This isn't going to be up in the 900. Okay, yeah, standard engine will do it. Uh, this isn't going to be up in the 900 horsepower. It's just simply not going to happen with this car. Uh, we want exhaust as well because that saves us a bunch of weight. So that should put us back down. Yeah, that puts us down into the 2800. Uh, relatively high, but still. That's good. We're looking like we're going to get similar I say similar power figure, it's going to be a little bit less than we got from the Evo. However, we might still have some decent control. Yeah, we've got less power. I think a little bit more torque, but more weight than we got from the Evo. The Evo was absolutely spot on when it came to handling. Maybe this will be even better. Uh, we will also have probably had a look at things like gearbox. Okay, we can put gearbox on for free. Always nice when you can do that. Can't put clutch on for free. Maybe get driveline. Nope, not going to get driveline on. We'll put the diff in as well. I will have a look at flywheel just in case. I think because clutch and driveline are adding up PI, these, yeah, these aren't going to go. So we are literally right at the very, very, very top of S1 class. While, you know, Forza gives you your PI to you know, a, a fixed score, 900 or 901, there is certainly a, a a point something going on with the cars, because you can't, you see here, all of these are up to 901, when well, they're different parts, so, yeah, we're obviously right at the very, very upper limit of uh, what I can get away, I'm probably at 900.4 at the moment, but that will do with our Sylvia, and we're going to see how it fares down a bumpy and incredibly fast rally stage. Of course, to test out the Sylvia, we are heading to the Reservoir Trail, where it will get 
three runs through this course in an attempt to go as fast as possible. Now our current leaders, the Ram Run and the Audi RS2 Avant, have got a 229.8 and a 229.9. Respectively, they are very quick times down this course, and times that I suspect this Sylvia is not really going to be able to quite challenge. 235s is the mid-table area where I think we might see this car go. I think we're going to struggle in terms of acceleration, but we will be able to make up time through the corners. Certainly, actually, we're not too bad coming into turn one. It's easy, so easy, flat out through there. That is, um, yeah, <laughs> some good handling, and I was expecting that from this car, the way it's got built. I, wasn't, I say I wasn't quite expecting the speed, you know, it's not that far off the Evo in terms of speed. It's only about 10 miles an hour down on the RS2. And the RS2, now remember, that car had 900 horsepower and was about the same weight as this. It's a little bit heavier, but uh, yeah, not really surprising that the RS2 was carrying mega, mega speed. So far, this car has been really quite nice and planted, even perhaps a little bit more so than the Evo in places. How do we do across the bumps? That is going to be the big question, yeah. <laughs> It does the thing that every single other car has done, and the one thing that the Evo is so strong at, when you hit that secondary bump, the Evo was absolutely fine just to kind of ride through it. This pings back up into the air. You lose, uh, you know, steering for half a second, but that means you're out in the concrete wall if you're carrying the same sort of speed. However, I think maybe a slightly different line can work for curing that through there. Throw the car down here with some vigour, and it's pretty good around that section, as you would imagine, but perhaps struggling a little bit on the climb up the hill. Not too bad through the water, surprisingly. 100 and 109 miles an hour, so quicker than the Evo 6 and the Impreza, I think, through the water, which is certainly not, not bad going to be, uh, to be beating them vehicles. Across the next jump we go. Actually, I've been doing pretty well on, uh, on jump landings. We've not, apart from that one nasty section early on that lots of cars have had issues with, pretty good in terms of surviving the bumps. We have our big puddle to uh, avoid here. I've done it a little bit too soon, possibly. We've got through it either way, and now we bounce our way down towards the finish line. How much speed can we take down this section is always the big question. Fighting the car as we start twitching around a little bit. We're going to take out the tree on the way past. Now, we have seen yeah, we have seen that. 140 miles an hour is pretty respectable for cars. We have seen up to 150. It does fly very, very back down across those jumps, trying to maintain the speed around these final couple of corners. Yeah, it is very, very nicely planted. Out of these, it's going to be a good first run. It's going to be a very good first run, in fact, into the uh, 34s. 34.2 is a... Um, yeah, that's fast. That's very fast. That, <laughs> that's beaten a Lancia 037 already. I wasn't quite expecting that. That's that's what that's what grip. That's what grip will do for you uh, down this course. Well, this car is causing a little bit more of an upset than I was kind of expecting. I wasn't thinking we were going to be seeing maybe that much time at a you know at a real push with a very much perfect run through the course. That's yeah, some serious time out of the out of the S14. It is, despite its slight lack of power in comparison to its rivals, you know it's a little bit heavier, it is still making up the time through the course. It is very, very nice through the corners. I think the Evo 6 does still perhaps slightly beat it in terms of balance, and I've gone exploring ever so slightly out there. Apparently we're okay with that one. Right, we haven't got the brakes. That is one thing we don't have going on here, come to think of it. We don't have the brakes of either the Subaru or the Evo. Both of those cars were phenomenal at getting slowed down. And this shares quite a lot of characteristics with them, surprisingly, but not that one. Yeah, it's, it's better. The slightly different line I was taking through there is working better to quell the bouncing, but it isn't as smooth as we have seen. Uh-oh, that's a big, that's a big, <laughs> a big moment. Yeah. That's not the line you want to be taking through that corner. Well, this run is a bust. We'll kind of see what else we can get away with. That's a huge wheelie on bounce. We've had a couple of cars recently. Uh, the, the Alpine springs to mind with uh, the tendency to really fly ass down across these jumps. Now, it's okay to an extent. I'd rather have a car doing that than nose diving. You actually lose less sort of time, less speed on the landing if the car is flying through the air in that manner. 
but it is still less than ideal. I don't know why I changed up gear there. That's never going to work across that section. Get the car to town. We're again finding a vehicle where it's sort of sitting right between third and fourth. Not quite sure where we, uh, what gear we want to be in. That's asked too much of the Sylvia. Yeah, well, I had to try, had to try different stuff on this run. Uh, what about sticking out wide through here? Are we good to do that? Yeah, we can brush the wall ever so slightly. It's a, it's a real risk. You try and maintain speed through that section, uh, sticking out wide. It's very easy as you hit the water. The car's just not going to have as much turning, and you're going to end up sliding across the track. Not, not oversteer as such. You've just got no grip. The whole car is going to slide, sort of neutral steer, effectively running out of grip, and you're going to slide off towards that wall. So it's, a, it's a bit of a risk running that. You've really got to get the car turned and ready for acceleration across the puddle if you want to take that line. We didn't quite this time out, but uh, the, the Nissan seems actually pretty happy with going either way through the pile, either a wide line or a bit of a tighter line. Yeah, that was a bad run. Now, that was a bad run, a couple of mistakes. Ended up in uh, a fair bit of bother. So, yeah, one more try to go faster. Well, as we head on to the final run with the Sylvia, you're going to be hearing a familiar tune because... We need a second. Once more, if we are to move it up a place on the leaderboard, we do need to find a second down this course, and the car that we are chasing is the Impreza 22B. Now, that's not quite what I was expecting from this vehicle. However, it is very, very much the case. This is... It's not got the acceleration. Again, you know, it's got less power, I think, than the Impreza, and weighs about 400 pounds more. However, this has got such good corner speed that uh, it is, yeah, going to pose a threat, I think, to the Subaru. Not likely to pose a threat to the top runners. Again, we simply do not have the power. We do not have the acceleration in this car. After all, things like the Audi RS2 were handling just as well, or almost just as well, and then accelerated so much faster that over the course of the run here, they are going to be the slightly superior cars. However, in the mid-table, this sort of uh, performance could be very, very impressive. If this beats the 22B, that would be quite the upset. I wasn't expecting it to ever be getting that close, and it is a really solid car to drive. It is really nice to throw it through these corners. Look at that grip on the, out, out the run out of that turn. That is a corner that has got so many cars into trouble with oversteer or, or understeer even on turning, and the Sylvia can carry so much speed through there. I actually had some really rather good cars, really excellent fun cars to drive of late. The Evo 6, I think, is still the slightly better car down here. In fact, it's, I think it's still the best car I've had down this stage, but this is, you know, a lot better than I was expecting it to be. It doesn't deal with the bumps as well as the proper the proper rally cars, if you like, but it's still dealing with them admirably. It's not having massive, massive issues. And we're going to run that wider line. We got it through the water nicely there, which is good. We didn't end up uh, sliding our way into the wall as we now skirt around the water. This is where this is where the Evo 6 was so fast, and this is where cars can come undone. You're trying to thread them at 130 miles an hour across huge bumps and in between the trees. The Sylvia jumps across the first of the big jumps, and the second one we twisted a little bit on the landing for the first part, but it's okay. In fact, we end up out a little bit wide for the second bit, but that does really mean that we can throw the car through the corner. It's a little bit sideways out of the last turn. We run towards the line. Oh, it was quick. It was, it was quick, a 233.4 from the Sylvia. The Impreza is going to breathe a giant sigh of relief there, but it only escaped by two-tenths of a second. That is a hell of a car, actually. That is um, really not a bad showing at all from the Sylvia. You know, really brought a good fun to drive down here. The downsides to it, it's just not got the composure of the, the Evo 6. It's a second and a bit down on the Evo 6. That, that was just so much superior over the bumps. But this S14 is nowhere near as far down as I thought it might be. There's giant tyres, I think, giving it a huge amount of grip. And it is working very, very well for it on this course. And the acceleration, while not up there with the top cars, is still good enough to give it this sort of a time. Because the 233.4 will put it into ninth 
place. A couple of tenths down on the Impreza 22B. Uh, you know, just over half a second down on the Hemi Cuda. But it beats the Lancia 037. It beats the Sunbeam Lotus, the Ferrari 288, the Skyline R32. You know, we're talking two seconds faster than the Skyline. That's, yeah, that's a better car than I was expecting going down this stage. So, there we go. I have been surprised and actually quite enjoyed driving an S14 in this rally car build. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Bye.